I've got an eight foot brush hog here that is just got a lot of vibration in it. That vibration, if you allow it to continue, can eat up the seal. You got a, a seal coming out of that shaft like this. And if it vibrates much, it's gonna wear that seal out and, and cause it to start leaking uh, fluid, which is expensive to repair if you have it done by someone else. So I had had this completely rebuilt, the, the, uh, the uh, gearbox rebuilt several years ago. Um, did a video on that, me trying to fix my wobble and, and just realizing that it was just completely shot. Uh, but what they did when they rebuilt it, they tightened this, this is called a castle nut right there. And they tightened it up, but let me, I'm gonna zoom in close so you can see what I'm talking about. But when a castle nut has got little grooves in it, this shaft here, this bolt shaft, has uh, a, hit, a hole drilled through it. And the theory is you're supposed to tighten up the castle nut and hopefully one of these grooves, and again, I'll tighten up in here in a minute, uh, one of these grooves will allow you to put a pin in it. Well, uh, when I tighten it up, the pin will not go in the castle nut. And let me get a little tighter shot. Maybe I can explain better what I'm talking about. So there's the hole in the shaft right there. And the castle nut, when you tighten it up, you should be able to put your pin right through that uh, groove in that castle nut. Well, when you really tighten it up, I mean, tight it, tighten it very tight, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, the, the hole does not line up. The hole is right about right in the middle of this. So I need to tighten this up, and I put a, I put a, uh, a, uh, impact wrench on it and everything just could not get it to tighten up and I'm sure that's what happened when they rebuilt it he couldn't get it to tighten up now why he didn't do what I'm fixing to do I don't know because that's just not a good way to leave it I, I did it yesterday I tightened it up and put a, a a pin in it to where the pin was was resting on top and I thought it would keep it from from falling down and it didn't it rattled down and when it's down here's what happens that's called a, we call that a stump jumper. I'm sure it's got a technical term. And this is what happens. It, it wobbles like throwing a plate down on a, a counter and letting it go do, 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 whatever. So that makes it, makes your whole thing wobble. Not good, not good at all. I may have to th rethink what I'm doing. I thought this was just a nut, but it's a nut with a, built-in washer kind of so what i can either do would be to grind a little of this off just a little of that off i just need it to go about a just an extra gosh 30 second or something i don't need much at all or i can put a washer under it i'm not real comfortable with putting a washer under it but um and i'm not sure i have one that big but that might be at least the better way to try it and uh before i start grinding on that okay so let me see if i find, got a washer big enough that will determine what i do so what i had to wind up doing was put a washer under it because when i tightened it down even if i had to ground some off that this the way where that hole is drilled the the edges the walls of the castle nut here were were too um were too far down were too deep and the the wash the uh pen was just you know was 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 not the pen wouldn't catch on the the walls the the those things right there so i uh, may have it tightened out a little too tight now i don't know whether i can get a pen in there or not but it's tightened down i had a washer had to ream out the washer a little bit wasn't quite big enough it was big enough on the outside uh, I, I OD, but not big enough on ID, so I took a little Dremel and just took a, maybe a 30-second off, something like that, and uh, 
tighten it up. Now, some of you folks that are really good mechanics, tell me if uh, this is dangerous. I don't see any reason it would be. All I did basically was use a washer as a spacer. I had to get some space, and I'm sorry about the wiggling. I'm trying to get, get you a good shot. I had, to, I had to bring this this out so the pin would catch in between here and not sit here and not ride on top of them. I don't know whether I'm making sense or not. But I'll put a pin in it and I might have to back it off just a little bit to put that pin in it because it's uh, it's real tight. That, that right there is real tight on that hole. So let me try that. I'll get, bring a pin out here, put it in it, and show you the results. Whew, so I've got a pin in it. Had to loosen it just, just a hair, not much. Got a pin in it. Man, it is hot out here today. Not even noon. And it's 1220. Already hot. Alright, really there is very, very wiggle. Um, so I think that's gonna fix it. I'll I didn't show you before the 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 uh, uh, vibration but I will just uh, just take my word for it. If it's smooth, I'll tell you it's smooth because I'll be happy. So let me put it back on the tractor and uh, turn it on, see what happens. Ready to turn it on now? Let's see what it sounds like. It's still got a little a little vibration to it but not much at all and uh, in fact the higher the rpms the more the vibration goes away so that's good because that's where you're mowing uh, at a higher rpm if i really if i if i think it's gonna be a problem and i don't like what i'm hearing down the road i don't mow that much because i got cows that that graze so i don't do a lot of mowing any, anymore but if i feel like it could be a little tighter and i don't know whether it can or not but i will i'll definitely look under there and see if it's backed off any see if that plates that thump jumper's moving any and uh anyway if it is then i'll i'll put another spacer in there and i'll do whatever i gotta do i'm gonna try to try to get it right but again i think once i bump the rpms up and get in some grass i don't think that uh the, the vibration is gonna be hardly noticeable uh, at all Anyway, you watched what I did, and some of y'all are good mechanics. Putting a spacer in there, a washer spacer, 16th of an inch, something like that, that's not gonna be an issue, is it? Tell me it's not, <laughs> please. <laughs> I don't see any reason why it would in there. Again, <clears throat> I think I may have to, have to come back and put another washer in it just so I can tighten it up a little bit more. When I tighten that up all the way, it, it didn't line up with the hole. So if I put another spacer in there, maybe when I tighten it up, it will line up with the the pinhole, the the hole will line up with uh, one of the castle nut shoulders, whatever walls shoulders. Anyway, uh, whew, I'm sweating. It is hot out here already, and it's not even sunny. Kind of cloudy. All right, we're gonna mow some again this afternoon. Try to finish up our mowing. Then I've got some spraying to do. Got a lot of goat weed, a lot of nightshade, a lot of uh, thistle, a lot of everything. Need to get rid of so. Want to get it mowed and had to get this uh had to get this right before i got it mowed all right i believe that's it and we are gone